Hi, I humbly welcome you to our second edition of INFS 211 Past Questions Review. So this, uh, this is all about introduction to information technology. And I started um, releasing some of your past questions. So we are doing past questions review. Yesterday, I released a video on some of your past questions. So which is what... Um, which was about 30 questions here. Yeah, we solved 30 questions. Today we are going to also solve 35 questions, making 65 questions. So at the end of the day, you'll be, you'll be abreast with the questions and how to prepare for your exam. So we are going to delve more. It's not about going through the past questions, but we are giving you reasons and why we think the answer that I have selected is the right answer. Okay, so whilst we are solving questions we are also learning because i'll be explaining those concepts that will come across so in uh, in in trying to go through past questions you are also what learning from whatever that you are doing if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please kindly subscribe to it it takes us so many hours to really do these things okay to go and even solve this as it takes us for about three four hours sometimes it goes beyond that but because of the love you guys have been showing to us we are interested in helping you or trying our best to do these things so please hit on the notification um the the subscription button to to uh, to follow us and also turn it on make sure you share it with your friends to also follow us today i'm not going to really uh, spend a lot of time because we have so many things to do so i'll be taking you to through the, the sessions that we are going to um We'll be going through so these were the questions we solved yesterday yes so we solve all these questions if you couldn't um um or you couldn't join yesterday class or you couldn't really um watch yesterday's video the first part kindly search on infs 211 past questions review the first one was released yesterday so you can also get access to that one you can't miss you can't miss both of them so today is part two and we are going to continue from question 31 so now let's fast forward let's go let's move forward um it says that this is this is a central this is a central computer in a network that is responsible for managing the network and its resources. This is a central com computer in the network that is responsible for managing the network and its resources. So you've been given the options and the answer is a server. You, you have client, server, URL, and then we have a network connector. The answer is a server. Why is it a server? The answer is server because the name of the server on, on which the resources are located on the internet. So when you talk of a server, server is the name, um, is what is the um, it is the name of what the server on which what the resources are located on the internet. A server is a central, is a central computer in the network that is responsible for managing the network and its resources. So that is the definition for what a server. A server is what the central computer in the in a network that is responsible for managing the network and its resources so that is why the answer is a server let's move to 32 question 32 says that which of the following network topologies transmit data to tokens so we want to see which of the topologies we have bars we have star we have mesh and then we have ring so which of them transfer uh, transmit um data to token so it is the answer is what ring so a ring a topology connect component in a closed loop messages uh, messages pass from computer to computer in in only one direction and around the loop only um only one station at a at many okay so only one station at a time may transmit devices are connected from one to another as in a ring a data token is used to grant permission for each computer to communicate so here a data token is a data token is used to grant permission for uh, for each computer to communicate so with the question that they asks that the topology which of them um transmit data to tokens it is what a ring topology because a ring topology um, 
is where a data is what taken. Uh, it's where a, a, a data token is what used to grant uh, permission for each computer to communicate. So that is it. Let's now move forward. The speed of a medium uh, bandwidth is up to so which the speed of a a media bandwidth is is up to what. So we have to what look at these ones and then find. So the answer is B, okay? Um, the answer is B. Let's look at, that is 10. Let's look at the next question. I refer, um, I refer to the frequency range of telecommunication channel, okay? So um, it determines the channel's medium transmission reach. My name is what? So this is what? Um, a concept. So the concept that we are trying to explain is what we call bandwidth. Bandwidth. So with bandwidth, um, so the communication, the uh, the communication and speed capacity of telecommunication network can be classified by what bandwidth. The bandwidth is the frequency range of telecommunication channel. It determines the channel's medium transmission reach. So as it says that it refers to what. A frequency range of telecommunication channel so with bandwidth bandwidth also what is what the frequency range of what telecommunication range so the definition is about bandwidth so pay attention to this and uh, 35 says that dash a dash or and that uh, dash is what area network area network a dash Area network is generally associated with some uh, some some or all of the spaces within a building. So dash area network is generally associated with some or all the spaces within a building. So this is what a local area network. So that is what LAN. So we are talking about LAN. So it is associated with what some um associated with some or all spaces within a building it is local because um when it has to do with what spaces that are associated with what um are associated with what within a building it is a local right so let's look at the definition a local area network is designed to connect personal computers and digital devices within a half mile or 250 meter radius lands are the short meaning for local area network is land so lands are typically uh, uh, lands typically connect a few computer in a small office lands cover areas specifically associated with some or all of the species within a building in most cases multiple workspaces are connected to share devices to share devices and or switches or what that is a server. So the local area network, what we I want you to understand here is that it covers area generally associated with all with some or all spaces within a building. So if it, if the network covers a specific space or any uh, any space that is within a building, it is what a local area network. That's land number thirty six. The following are benefits that are associated with e-commerce in terms of business except so we are looking at the uh, benefit or functions of e-commerce so the idea here is to what, go through past questions but at the end of the day you are learning do you understand it so we are looking at the functions of what e-commerce or e-commerce or the, the benefit of e-commerce so if you have even not reached that area already you know the functions of e-commerce so that's why sometimes when you are reviewing past questions is the best so so when you talk about about when you talk of that it says that except so we are looking at the the, the benefit of e-commerce so these are the options reduce inventories getting a new customers reduce warehouse and then saving shopping all of these things are all functions of benefit of what e-commerce but under the functions of e-commerce we have so many uh, uh, benefit of e-commerce this benefit include what uh, uh, business benefit marketing benefit and customer benefit so within the business benefit which of them doesn't fall within the business benefit as we are talking about so 
um if you read if you go through or or if you have taken your time to read the e-commerce you could see that question option option uh, d is not part that is what shopping um i'm saving shopping time that is associated with what a uh, customer benefit shop uh, saving shopping time is what customer benefit because they rather go to um they rather spend time shopping but when you talk about the business benefit it is not really part of that so pay attention these are the the functions or the the, the various ben uh, benefit business benefit it includes what reduce let so we are going through all the functions to see whether um shopping saving shopping time is part of the business benefit so the business benefit includes uh, um so it reduce cost uh, it reduce cost to buyers from what increase um competition online so it you um it, the one of the benefits of business benefit uh, one of the business benefits of e-commerce is that it re reduce what it reduce cost to buyers from increased competition online also reduce errors times and overhead costs of information processing it also reduce inventories and and warehouse it reduce access to real-time inventory information speed up ordering and purchasing and purchasing easily create new also it easily what create new markets and also get new customers and also here in the, one of the function uh, business uh, benefit of e-commerce is that uh, automated business processing and also we have cost effective document transfer and also ha we have what reduce overhead and enhance uh, management business management so all these things are functions but we couldn't see saving shopping time because even ideally if you have to analyze it without even going through your slides you could see that shopping saving shopping time it is not a business benefit but rather a shopping benefit uh, sorry a customer benefit because you don't take your time to go and buy you order it online they bring it to you so it is your you the customer your benefit and not the business let's move forward to 37 the process of e-commerce the following can be shared and maintained except so we have business information business ideas uh, business relationship and none of the above so what we are coming to do so now let's do go through it e-commerce is shared okay uh, e-commerce is the sharing of business information so we have seen business information which is what option a maintaining business relationship we have seen option c here and conducting business transaction by means of telecommunication networks but we couldn't see option d and ideally there's no way someone will share his business idea with you okay if he, the person doesn't trust you he will never share it with you do you understand it uh -huh. so e-commerce uh, primarily involves what the sharing and maintenance of business information the relationship uh, uh, sorry it involves what maintain um sharing it involves sharing and maintenance of information, business relationship, and the conduct of what business transaction. While the idea is typically, while the while the business ideas typically remain uh, proprietary and um, and confidential within the organization, so business ideas are what confidential. Okay, they keep it within the organization. So the option B is the correct answer because it is what not part of the options we have highlighted here and and then 38 says that which of these type of payment payment purchases are made faster and it is convenient but but comes with more problems okay which of them which of them is what um convenient easy faster and also comes with what more problems so we'll look at we'll delve more into them um the most easiest and convenient one is what credit card among them credit card is the most popular one that we, people use and and so let's look at this one let's look at this one um so we see smart cars we have smart cars here and with the smart cars Okay, a minute, please. Okay, so with smart cars, 
Okay, so sorry, I was connecting an iPod. Sorry, forgive me. Um, with smart card, okay, smart card is used to store. Uh, used to store money, which is what reduce as as per usage. Smart card can be accessed. Smart card can be accessed only using a PIN of customer. Smart card are secure, and they store information encrypted with what um, encrypted format and are less expensive. It provides faster processing. So example of uh, smart cards are what. Um, Mondex and what Visa cards are all example of what the smart card. So um, that is the whole thing. And let's look at the next one. That is thirty nine. The discipline of e commerce is possible due to, okay, so due to dash uh, types of what it that uh, it that meet. So okay, so we are coming to look at um, the ver the types. Okay, so it says that there are four different types of information technology coverage to create the discipline of e-commerce so and they gave you one of the so these four types let me read them before you understand the question let me read the option so the four types uh, uh, of information technology coverage that create the discipline of e-commerce are electronic messages and facts so these things are what they create e-commerce and also a sharing of corporate digital library that one is also uh, one of the types also have electronic document and interchange utilizing um, interchange utilizing that is EDE and electronic funds transfer we also have electronic uh, publishing to promote marketing advertising sales and customer support so all these things are what the types that create what the discipline of e-commerce but so which are what they are four so there are four types so so we'll complete it by saying that the types of discipline is possible due to the four different types of it that meet it okay that meet so it meets all these what it requirement and that is why um the the, the discipline e-commerce has been what created and let's look at question 40. the following are challenges of e-commerce except so um under the e-commerce we have what the the challenges of uh, e-commerce can be categorized into four major dimension namely economic uh, technological social and legal so let's look at the options which of them doesn't fall under it we have what legal here it is part we have economic is part technological is part but we don't have political so the answer is what political and let's look at if they don't give you political and they give you something like psychological or any other thing know that the um the four the uh, the four challenges of e-commerce okay the four challenges of of e-commerce have been um, underlined which is what economic the four main one are economic technological social and then legal these are the four major um challenges of e-commerce let's look at option 41. The traditional part of um, uniform resource locator are composed when typing one. So we are coming to look at it, whether it is true or false. So the the additional part, sorry, the additional part of what a URL are composed when typing one. So is it true or false? Let's look at it, whether it is true or false. So most URL has, have, have what additional part. This additional part, which are also optional and are used to, what, to specify, that is what directory path to, what, to the location resources, file names, and pointers to the location. So it is true because it has what additional parts. So the answer is true. 42. In the URL, military stands for what? So military stands for what? So, um, we are we, when you when you when you are subtitle some of the website you see www.www.amforces.mail what does it mean we well, are coming to look at it so it stands for what military government institutions and all these things were have been stated here yesterday so mail that is military government institution military government institution that is all about the mail and so this 
it can be in a form of um, feeling. So you type your answer there, military government institution. If they ask you org, it is what? Not, um, it is what? Uh, um, that is organization. You get it. Organization. And then when you talk, when you talk of edu, that is what? Education. Um, dot com is what companies or commercial organizations. We have uh, uh, Intel or that is I N uh, I N T, which is what international organization. So pay attention to the and then net usually mean network usually connected to the internet via gateway. So dot net is what is internet. And then let's look at uh, forty three uh, international organizations. No, uh, no military government institution. Okay, so international organizations, no military government institutions. Um, the major uses of what internet include the following, except so we are looking at what in the international organizations and then non military organizations. Um, we come to see or find out the uses of what the internet. So they use all these, these institutions use all these things as functions. With the exception of what yesterday we discussed that one so if you have not watched the first video please go and watch it i'm not going to answer this one check the first video i uploaded the answer is there Apanet stands for what what is the full meaning of Apanet? so the united states of america usa government in an attempt to coordinate the effort of the, the effort of its research um, laboratory, laboratories created a network to link the libraries in September 1964 called Apanet. So Apanet was created in the year uh, in September 1969. And, and, and that is what we call what? Advanced Research Project Agency Network. Advanced Research Project Agency Network. So the answer is what? E, which is Apanet means Advanced Research Projects agency market my uh, agency network if i'm the one i can even give you advanced agency project i won't bring the s so pay attention but this one is projects okay uh -huh. and let's look at 45 dash is a program that searches and identify items in a database that correspond to keywords or characters specified by the by the user and used to uh, use especially in finding particular sites on the www so we have what html that is hypertext mark markup language we have search engine browser and cyber cyberspace so which of them is the answer let's let's go through this and solve it together a program that searches for a program that searches for that searches for and identify items in a date in a data in a database that correspond to a keyword or characters specified by a user and especially in finding a particular site in the ww dot so which is what the search engine so search engine is a program that's that searches and identify items in a database that corresponds to keywords and characters specified by the user uh, especially when finding a particular site in the www so this is what we call um a search engine search engine in a vast uh, topology a dash a dash uh, connector can be can be used to extend it so uh, that is barrel so this one can come in a form of um a feeling so they will give you in a in a bus topology the moment you see in a bus topology a dash then you write what barrel that is what b a r r l e so let me read let me give you the a, a solution in a bus topology one station transmits signals which travel in both uh, direction along a single transmission segment both ends with a network that must be terminated by a terminator a barrel connector can be used to extend it so uh, it's a what dash connector can be used to extend it so a, a barrel connector so it is a barrel connector but you don't type a barrel since the connector has been provide, provided you type only barrel to to avoid any 
inconveniences because it is a system if you are doing it online that one you can't type this but if it is face to face you can type this and 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 let us pray that it's a past question if they decide to repeat it then that is cool let's look at this which of the following is not a true advantage seen of e-commerce in business which of them is not a true what um advantage of e-commerce in business so e-commerce i told you we have what so many types of e-commerce eh? uh, so many benefits of e-commerce and, and 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 we have which is a business uh, ben benefit of e-commerce we have customer benefit and so on so we are coming to look at it it says what which of the it's not advantage of what e-commerce in business so we, the, the the focus is on what but Be, uh, benefit of e-commerce in business so let's look at it i provided the answers already with this one you can answer please type the answer which of them is not the which of them mm? which of them is not so we have what reduce overhead cost of information pro uh, processing we have cost effective document transfer we have increased warehouses we have automated business processing which of them is the answer drop it under the comment section and let me see if you really understand it um i explain it i gave you the benefit so these are the answers so you know after typing you will know which one if you are right so all the functions i provided are here go through them you could see that all the functions are here with the exception of even with warehouse let's look at the option today reduce inventories and warehouses so the e-commerce is rather reduce inventories and warehouses if I am selling my product online and people are buying it online why do I need to increase warehouses whilst I can actually what sell things with, with by having some some few warehouses that so you get it if in establishing warehouses means you are going to involve yourself in this traditional marketing but with e-commerce you you can have one center and you can distribute um product anywhere do you get it so it rather reduces warehouse but doesn't increase warehouse so the answer here is what the increase warehouse is not an option but aside that we have what um reduce overhead cost of information processing it is true a cost of uh, cost effective document transfer is also one of the uh, business benefit we also have what automated processing automated business processing is also one of the benefit um let's now look at option 48 this is mostly considered as one of the most annoying problem with the internet this question i didn't answer it the first video that i released i answered that question there okay some of you will think the answer is a spam others also think it is slow internet others think it's more worth trade others also think it is what um cost of internet if you really follow the first video you know this so please drop the answer if you know the answer drop it i didn't solve this i've solved it in the first video i released then the questions I, I i gave you i gave to you in my first video i didn't really i didn't really really add those ones do you get it i didn't add this so these are a different set of questions so please drop the answer for me question 48 all of you those of you watching me if you know you are watching me please if it is option e tell me if it is uh, more wear threat if it is spam if it is uh, slow internet and if it is cost of internet please uh, answer it for me 49 due to the difficulty in remembering ip addresses the internet support the use of a test name that represent them so is it true or false so due to the difficulty in remembering ip addresses the internet support the use of a test name to represent them true or false so now let's look at it let's let's now go through your slides so it says that these all numeric ip addresses are difficult to remember and use thus the internet support the use of test name that re that represent one or more internet addresses so the answer is what true it is what true 50 that a, a network in dash network Oh, sorry, in a dash network, various computers on the network can act both as client and service. So in which network that you can have what the various computers 
on a network that would act as a client and, and service. So that is what peer to peer, um, peer to peer network, peer to peer network. So in peer to peer network, various computers on the internet can act both as client and service. For instance, many Microsoft Windows based computers will allow file and, and print service. Uh, sorry, will allow file, uh, file and then print and print sharing. Okay, many network are combination of peer to peer and a server based network. So with a peer to peer, um, it allows you to what uh, to perform this function. Okay, so that is it. So the mi Microsoft Windows, Windows bases base computers will allow you to what uh, allow file and also print print and also what uh, share. Do you understand it? So that is it. Um, in question 51, it says that in, referen in reference to your ge geographical scope of a computer network, which computer, which type of uh, computer network spans regions and state? So which of the computer network, the computer network, which of the computer network spans regions and state? That is what wide area network. That is one. W-E-N, wide area network. With a wide area network, it spans wide area network span broad geographical distances entire regions and states continent and the entire globe the um, um the most universal universal and powerful one is the internet so wide area network uh, it, 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 it cut across regions state uh, continent and so on and what you are using the internet that you are using is a wide area network now let's move forward. 52 covers areas generally associated with individual workspace. Example, home, office, and an office uh, uh, cubicle. So which of them is that? That is what PAN, that is personal area network. So with a personal area network, it covers generally uh, uh, personal uh, area networks what? covers areas generally associated with individual workspace. That is a person's home, the person's office, the, uh, the person's office uh, cubicle. So within these species, individual networks, individual networks conducting two or more devices may, may be enabled using what wireless technologies. So that is it. Let's now look at, let's now look at the question 53. So, 53 says that narrow band, uh, narrow bands typically, narrow band channels typically provide a low space transmission rate of about 68k 60, to dash MBP, um, Mbps. So, it is what? To 2 Mbps. Okay, so that's so that what? 2M. It is 2M. So, if you get question like this, the answer is 2M. So let's look at the look. Let's look at it. Why it is 2M? So narrow band channels typically provide low speed transmission rate. That is 68k to 2M. So do you I get it? So they omitted the 2M. So you bring the 2M and you are good to go. And uh, 54 can be termed as dash can be termed as can be termed to be the process of purchasing and selling resources with the use of internet. It is e-commerce. E-commerce is where you allow you that where you sell and then you buy online using what the internet. An example of e-commerce is what Amazon. Um, we have Alibaba. These are the international agencies. When they come to Ghana, we have Jumia. We have GG. We have so many e-commerce platform in the country that are what. Uh, really working there are some that are scam right? if you are not careful people can scam you i don't want to mention any specific company's name but uh, e-commerce has its own what, challenges that is it so you have to be very careful when transacting businesses online and let's look at it so with the electronic commerce is a buying and selling of goods over the internet e-commerce can also be defined as a process of two or more parties making businesses business transaction via computer and some type of network so with this one when they ask you you should be able to what uh, know this 
they can give you the first definition or the second definition the second definition which state that it, it can be defined as a process of what uh, a process of two it, it can be defined as a process of two or more parties making business transaction via computer and and some type of what network so it is still what e-commerce so either we whether they give you the first or the second you make sure you un underline the right answer and we also have 55 says that which of uh, which among the following is not a true advantage seen of e-commerce in business so still e-commerce in business so this now we've moved from e-commerce uh, 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 now still we are on e-commerce in business okay so which of them is not seen as what the advantage so with this one i'm not going to answer it because the question has been answered already so which of them is not advantage reduce overhead cost of information process that is a b cost cost effective document transfer c increase warehouses and d automated business processing so please with question 55 drop the answer i've answered it already I didn't provide any answer. Drop the answer for me. If you think it is uh, automated processing, automated business processing, drop it. If you think it is increased warehouses, drop it. If you think it is cost-effective do uh, document transfer, drop it. And if you think it is reduced cost of information processing, drop, drop it. Okay, question 56. Electronic publishing is done to achieve the following, except... A advertises B sales, uh, C uh, cast, uh, cast, um, customer support, and then D fax um, machine uh, messages. Okay, so which of them is not what electronic publishing or uh, in a way that electronic publishing uh, can be done? Okay, so we look at the electronic publishing uh, publishing. Is done to promote what marketing, sales, advertising, and customer support. So, which of them isn't part of the options? The answer is what fax messages because it, it what the electronic publishing uh, promotes or it achieves the following, which is what it promotes marketing, advertising, sales, and also uh, customer support. But fax messages are not part. Fifty eight. Marketing benefit of e-commerce are seen as as follows. Except, so we have a wide uh, wide scale of information dissemination. B low cost advertising. Uh, we have um, C is what a case of what having a, a a a customer and then reduce inventories. So which of the following? So uh, I'm taking the question. This one to. I'm not going to do so. Marketing, uh, marketing benefit of e-commerce are seen as the following. Except, so which of the marketing, uh, which of them is not a marketing benefit of e-commerce? So let's look at the marketing benef benefit of e-commerce. Marketing benefit of e-commerce include include what improve market analysis, product analysis, and customer analysis. That is one of the a low cost advertising. And C uh, is what easy to create and maintain customer on client database so these are the marketing benefit of e-commerce first marketing benefits it's what it improves market analysis uh, um, uh, product analysis and customer analysis we also have what b low cost of what advertising and c is what the um, easy to create and maintain customer on client database so all these things are marketing analysis so now Marketing benefit of e-commerce. So let's look at the options they gave to us. So let's let's look at it. Which of them is in part? Which of them? Which of them? Also, the marketing benefit of e-commerce are seen as follows. Except so wide uh, scale uh, information dissemination, wide scale, uh, uh, wide scale um, uh, scale of uh, information dis dissemination. It's not here. We have what uh, to ease having customer, and we have what reduce inventories. So which of them? So um, let's let me let me let me go through the fifty-eight again. So marketing benefit of e-commerce are seen as follows. Except, okay, 
which of them isn't a marketing benefit of e-commerce okay so um with this one the answer is what reduce um inventories reduce inventories reduce inventories is part of what the affairs um which is it is part of the um the other other benefit of what e-commerce what you are talking about now is what the marketing benefits benefit okay with the marketing benefit this is not it doesn't fall under the marketing benefit but rather falls under the we have marketing benefit we have customer benefit and we have um a minute let me see uh, marketing benefit okay so business benefit so it rather falls under the business benefit but not the marketing benefit so um it is what reduce inventory so for, uh, forget about low cost of advertising low cost of ad advertising is part because it falls under the reasons i've stated here i didn't really check it well but the answer is what reduce inventories let's look at question 59 payment option can be, uh, be grouped into how many basic types it can be grouped into three basic types so so the in electronic commerce it involves what two parties namely business and then customers these um these um there are three basic types of what electronic commerce so we have what business to business that is b2b it is what one of the types and we also have what business to customer that is b2c and then we have what customer to business so these are the three basic types of what e-commerce and so the uh, the answer is what is uh, e which is what three and then also there is the existence of middleman in the business to customer transaction that is b2c there is what existence of a uh, middleman in it is it true or false is it true please drop the answer this one solve this question for me question 60 there is what there is a there is existence of middleman in the b2c um transaction business to customer transaction please Drop the answer before we, we submit it. If you haven't dropped it, uh, God is watching you. Please drop the answer. I'm talking to you, Yao. I'm talking to you, Akosia, Ya, Abna, Emmanuel. Whosoever that is watching, I'm talking to you. Please drop the answer before I move forward. Drop the answer. Is it true or false? If it is true, why? And if it is false, why? So please, under the comment section, I'm, I'm waiting before I proceed. Now, let's, let's look at it. Uh, now, after I drop in, I'm solving it for you. So, business to customer involves the sale of what products or services to the general public or the end users. Oftentimes, this, arrange, uh, this arrangement eliminates the middleman by allowing manufacturers to sell directly to the customers. So, if business to customers, they sell directly to what to the customers with that with the elimination of middlemen. But if it is business to business, that one there could be a, a middleman in it or uh, a business to um, um how do you call it the b2b and then we have what the other one is what the the c2c customer to customer that one too there could be a middleman in it but with the business to customer there is no middleman in the process you understand hmm. so you have had a general overview of the it if you haven't been learning anything you have an overview of your course do you understand it Let's look at this one. Um, it says that four different types of. Um, let's look at this one. Okay. 61. 62, yes. It says that sharing a corporate sharing a corporate digital library is part of the types of IT that makes it possible for e commerce to happen. True or false? Is it true or false? So, sharing a corporate digital library is part of the types of it it that makes it possible for e-commerce to happen so let's look at the it that makes e-commerce possible to happen before we can see whether it is true or false if it, it falls and so four different types of uh, information technology coverage that create the discipline of e-commerce i think this one has even been solved so let first one is what electronic message and fax we also have what two we have sharing a corporate digital library 
So it falls under it three electronic doc document exchange utilizing um and then electronic funds transfer. And then we also have the last one is what electronic publishing to promote marketing, advertising, sales and customer support. So these are the three types. Uh, these are the four types that makes the discipline uh, of what electronic commerce possible or e-commerce possible. So if we see these things are things that really what makes the discipline e-commerce possible, then it is true. It is true because sharing a corporate uh, library it is, is part of the areas we've seated. The four types. Let's look at 63. The following are well-known um, B2B e-commerce transaction except so we talk of what business to business transaction so all of them are what the business to business transaction except so we have aut uh, automobile parts we have healthcare we have what photography we have what computer so which of them isn't a business to business um, transaction so which of them so all of them automobile parts can be business to business I can sell to a uh, 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 I mean, a, a, a business that really sell cars before they also sell it to the customers. Uh, healthcare too is the same, and when you talk of take computers too is the same. But photography is what a business to customer. Photography is a business to customer. Why is it business to customer? Because um, the services are rendered directly to the customer. Okay, I'm promoting my business. I need customers, so they rather look for customers directly so photography is part so b2b let me explain the b2b to you b2b involves a production uh, v2b involves this uh, the sale of what product or services from um one business to another this is typically a manufacturer supply relationship supplier relationship in b2b e-commerce the manufacturer manufacturers autom uh, automatically Place orders with supplies, and me at times pay and, and not, and many times a payment is made electronically. The most popular B two B e commerce is for for the automobile parts, computer, and healthcare. So do you get it? So healthcare, computers, uh, and then all the out all are part, but with the section of photography. Let's now move forward. Sixty four. 64 says that cyber cash is another name for A, E checks, B, credit cards, C, digital cash, and then E, fraud cash. So, which one is the answer? The answer is digital cash. So, when we talk of uh, uh, cyber cash, it's another term for electronic money, which refers to what a digital currency used for electronic transaction over the internet. So, let's look at this. Let's look at this. It can um, um so that is the answer so the answer is digital cash cash then 65 it says that it can be said that there are dash basic types of e-commerce so this one too has come again please which one is the, the answer how many types of uh, uh basic types of e-commerce we have is it e is it uh, two three four or five please answer me uh put, drop the answer under the comment section let me see so with this is what the end of the discussion please i'll be bringing you the next session which is what going to be uh, i can see with that one is going to be um based on some some key concept and that one is going to be the most powerful one right these ones um i'm sure you are familiar with them but the one i'm going to bring to you is going to be the most powerful one expect that one and watch out what i'm going to release that one is going to be a strategic video that one is going to be so i'm not releasing it now but but tomorrow too i'm not releasing it tomorrow either but i release it on thursday so watch out watch out if there's time i can prepare because in preparing these videos it comes with a lot of research and so on and so forth so please i'm trying my best and 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 that is what i'm trying to do so uh just do that and please if you know someone who wants to travel who wants to do his uh, who wants to study abroad or who wants to maybe travel and work outside i have some offers for them um i have traveling of offers in the us i have traveling offers in 
you um, um how do you call it canada i have traveling office in also um um that is poland i have mongolia i have Serbia. i have um i have um poland i have singapore and 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 finally dubai okay so these are the traveling offers i have the education one those that i want to study i only have two countries that is us and canada but the other ones are work offers and their salaries are cool so those ones that want to do travel outside let them get in touch with me i will see how best we get them we have them we have helped others to travel so when you get in touch with me i will see how best we help you with our offers. There are some that may be feasible for you, those that you can afford, and those that are out are also okay. So there are so many. I don't want to talk much. Let the person contact me on zero five four five four one two zero one seven or zero five zero three nine zero nine zero nine zero. God bless you for watching. Watch out for the next video. Thank you.